Good morning, everybody. As promised, with a delay, I said 10 o'clock in the morning I'll be here, and I'm not. But my gentleman Len is here, and we are going to show you how you can start over in your 70s and still get all the benefits of putting your body back into the shape you want it to be in. So here we go. Starting our routine just very gently, and if you're new to this, you will learn the routine as you go along. Um, let me see. I have to position this so that you can see me. Let me see. I think this will work. And Len is opposite me, a little bit higher, so you see my face. There you go. It's a new format because I used to do this um, by myself with an audience early in the morning at 6 30 at 7 o'clock and um, so now we're doing this with an audience and with live participation move back a little bit so we have the nice stretch and we start standing straight connecting to the universe above our head and connecting to the center of the earth. And we're gonna relax our shoulders that are moving, everything is loose. Bend our knees a little bit. And we're stretching up. Reach for the ceiling. Three, four, and five. Tell me if anything hurts. Otherwise, really reach for the ceiling then. Go and touch the sky. <laughs> touch this guy. I, I'm laughing because I'm thinking of the flat earthers who believe there's a finite firmament uh, that we're going to touch that all around there. <laughs> you can laugh. <laughs> laughing is always good. And we drop our arms and swing. Two, three, four. And now because we're not flat earthers, we actually love our little round planet. And we're going to say, I love you, my planet. Make it really round and beautiful. A little bit further out with your hands so it's nice and round. Up over your head, I love you, my sunshine. And I love you, my body. So embrace your body really tightly and just enjoy the fact that this is your main vehicle on planet Earth. It's more important than your car. I've just had that argument again last night with a new client. It was ridiculous. Yeah, the best fuel goes into my car, but the junk food goes into my body. What sense does that make? Anyway, so that was last night, actually. All right. We're bending our knees a little bit more, and we're starting with our swing in order to twist our midsection and strengthen the muscles on the spine. And swing, and swing. All you have to make sure is that you don't knock against anything, let your arms loose, and swing. At the end of the swing, let your knees drop a little bit so that you feel you can go even further. And one. Let your arms flop when arms flop at the end. Yes. Even so that they touch your body. Flop. And seven, eight. And one, two, three. And include your eyes now. Pick a point as far as you can look. And remember, in August, we're doing the Bates exercises, so we're going to get our eyes to not need glasses anymore. It's going to be so cool. And center. I want to do one slow stretch. So move around, hold onto your hips if you can. Also, with both hands, each one is, one is in the back, one is in here and turn your head gently as far as you can, looking as far as you can, and while also straying straight. Good, exactly, that's it. 
and you look as far as you can and the other side. Exhale in between, please keep your breathing. Hold on to your hips, fine. You know, one, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And look as far as you can, keep straight, keep reaching your head up, good. And look in the corner and come center. And you will realize over time that you can look further and further in that direction because the midsection is getting softer. All right. Was that painful? Nowhere, right? No. Because it's just good. All right. Um, we're getting to going down to the difficult one, three, four. Bend your knees and up, six, seven, eight. You know what we're going to try first so that you, we just go down in our knees and up. Keep your back straight and your chin forward. And down, up. And down. Okay, now a little bit further. And then curl up. And again, down, chin forward, up, chin in. Down, chin forward, keep it forward, keep it forward, good. It's a stretch in the back of your neck also, and up. Because these muscles also need to be straightened for the head to stay straight. You know, so many older people have their heads sort of going forward, mm -hmm. and that doesn't help our overall sense of being in this world. You know, when we, when we start walking like this, then we, um, we sort of lose the sense of pride and all that. You know, you have that. You walk very straight. But I just want for you to loosen these muscles um, so that in the back of your head, yeah, so when you go down, let your head trail down and chin is forward. And then you tuck in the chin and get that nice little double chin here and all that wobble that we have when we're our age and it's okay. <laughs> and chin forward, stretch it, bend your knees and up, two, three, four, and down, two, bend your knees, three, good. And up, two, three, four, two more, and down, chin forward, good, you're getting it. And up, six, seven, eight, and down. Everybody welcome, who's there? Three, four, and up, six, seven, last one. I said two more, now we're doing four because my head just works in fours and eights. And down, and up, three, four. Good. As we get better, I'm just going to show you, it gets a little faster and soft ongoing. One, two, and up, two, and one, two, and up. You feel a little bit like a snake, you know, eventually it's like because your whole body wants to get that fluidity. Good. Now we're doing the strength version of this. And that is, um, yeah, um, step a little bit further apart, just for balance and everything. And we're going with a flat back, chin forward down, keeping our arms here sort of under our chin. And we're going to bounce two, three, bend, bouncing your knees, not with your upper body so much, but in your knees. The upper body swings with it. Yeah, good, in your knees. This is very much strengthening your knees and your back. And turn a little bit to your left. And one, two, and three. Going back and other side. Two and three. Going back and center one more time. Go as far down in your knees as you can. And you can also put your arms out wide if that helps. Six, seven, eight, and curl up. Ooh, I know this is hard. And this you would probably feel because we did it yesterday quite a bit, right? Where do you feel it? I feel it in the back of my thighs. And yeah, back of my thighs more than anything else. And in my knees actually also. My knees always need strengthening. And everybody has those 
weak spots that need more. How is your back feeling this morning? Better. Improved. Wow! Yes! This is after two workouts that we had, and one is over a week back, right? Yeah. That is amazing. So, yeah. And I told you about the mental aspect. I'm sure you've been thinking about that, too. Mm -hmm. um, that is awesome. I love it. All right. Because years of back pain can really wear a person out and can inhibit us from... And I've had it. I've told you about this when I was really stressed out when I closed down my factory. Because then we anticipate that sharp pain any minute and we sort of don't dare to breathe or move or anything. <laughs> I'm exaggerating, but really that's what it can be. All right, so great. Um, so we're going to do the strengthening exercise one more time. Gently down into the flat back, knees bent, knees bent, bent as far as you can. Chin forward, almost so that you can look at me. Yeah, that's good. Arms under your chin, or hands under your chin in the air, forward and bounce. Two, three, to the side and one, two, coming back. Gently at the side, two, three, four, and center, six, you can relax your arms, seven, eight, curl up, two, three, four, until you're really straight, connect, and down. Ah. Oh. All right, we're gonna swing just in between so that our arms loosen up and swing the arms. Really enjoy that. Imagine that your hands beam into the universe and it's like lighting up the universe. <laughs> okay. Yes, good. That has become so much nicer than the arms. And there we are. So we've lit up the universe, now we're ready to function on planet Earth. Um, last one, standing, we do the step apart um, and we reach flat back over forward with a flat, the back is flat. When you see it here, um, the back is not round, but try to be flat. Let me just adjust you a little bit. Um, yes, and then forward, yeah. You see, you have to have the feeling that this is flat. And of course, it's not completely flat. And then turn, and that will curve the... What's important is that this part is flat, actually. I've, I'm lying here. I've been lying. What's important is that this part is flat, this part of your back, and you reach forward, and then curve down to the toe, and then come back into center, and other side. So the back leg, the, the leg that you're stretch, is, is stretched, the front leg is bent. I always say, I feel like a, an ice skater. Um, and now we go from one side to the other. And I'm going with you too. One, other side, and two. And reach forward. Yes. And two, bend the, bend the knee you're going toward as far as you can. Yes, excellent. And up and bend the other knee. Now bend your left knee, yes. And the other one is straight. And back and up. That was the last one. And relax, good. It, that is, you know, many things at the same time. Um, Watch when ice skaters or roller skaters just go like that, you know, like that and that and that and that. Yes, look at that. Beautiful. I should have done it this way around. And that. Now we slow that down and go deeper and deeper. And don't forget to breathe. And Good. And allow the back leg.
leg to straighten and you feel the stretch here. And the front leg is bent. Good. Oh, okay, enough. Good. Oh my God, you're making progress so fast. It's really a pleasure. And we want to grab our chair and go on the chair. I'm going to bend this a little bit so you see it a little bit better online. Um, let me just greet people who are here. Hi, Rhonda. How cool to see you here. And Judith and Karel. In, Karel is in Prague. So um, do the exercise. You can use what we're doing right now, Karel. <laughs> it's getting your belly in shape. All right. So these are people that I actually know. I'm just positioning this so that we can see. Good. Shall we start the other way around today? No, but then I'm facing away from the camera. That's not very polite. So we're starting this way around and holding on to the back of the chair and onto the corner of the seat and and we're lifting our legs just enough. I'm so proud of you that you can do it. But yesterday I had a client fall with the chair. So move your, your behind a little bit further forward. Yes, so that, um, <laughs> that happened yesterday evening, literally. So we kick one leg at a time, first pointing our toes and then pointing, point, uh, flexing our feet. And kick, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and heels, kick your heels, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm going to do this one more time with you, and you're actually kicking my toes, my hands here, not my toes. Kick, two, three, four, five, six, seven, good. You see, I want you to get this stretch so that you're really like putting some Yes, and relax and breathe. Don't hold your breath. It should be it should be a fun movement, and you should be sitting toward the uh, front of the chair, and then you can't fall backwards. Yeah. And one more time, you can also, if you want to do this really easy, you can go from the sitting position one at a time. One and two and. Three, point your toes, four, and five, and six, and seven, and now kick your heels, and really kick, put some power behind this, kick, and out, and out, be proud, and sit, and seven, and eight, good, stretch up, and stretch forward, and then fall, let your head, Dangle between your knees and curl back up. Nice. And I'm, I'm seeing that you're folding over much better today. Yesterday you were still in the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a mistake many people make that you think you need to bend here and then move forward, but it just crushes your organs. You need to stretch, go forward, and then drop your upper part of your upper body. Yep. One more time, stretch. Now move your back forward. Yes, as far as it can go. It can go a little further. Yeah, 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 you see, good. And then drop your upper body down. And when you have learned to really relax all these muscles, you can get the feeling that your head can hang like the head on a puppet, like on a string. It can just, whoop. when you stretch, go forward and whoop, in your head, it just hangs. And then you're ready for another set because you've given your muscles the relaxation in between. And of course, in this case, it's your, your belly muscles, um, mainly. That's what's working the most, even though your legs are also working. One more set. 
move a little bit more forward on the chair. I don't want anybody to. Well, are you sure you're in good balance? Excellent. Yeah. And again, you can also do it having your feet on the floor. But right, we're going to do, and Len, who is in his 70s, is doing a fantastic job. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, heels and kick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, stretch up and whew. And exhale and slow down. There you go. Yes, good. And stretch back up. Last one we do of these is that we try to do both legs together. Now, again, you can do this from the floor and just go a quick kick like that. But it's actually easier when you find your balance and you're holding onto your chair tightly and you go up and balance yourself so that the legs are a little bit higher than... This is, this is painful? Yeah. Okay. So if I hold this here, is it still as painful? Okay, then let's... No, I don't have the strength. Yes, let's not do both legs together. The one legs have been working much better today than the last time, um, even than yesterday. So it's... This exercise is very much also a balancing exercise. If you put your weight far enough back and your knees high enough, you're in balance. You're not straining any muscles. Yeah, but... The knees have to be able to go higher. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Good. And that is your, your thigh muscles. Your thigh muscles need strengthening. Definitely. But look, the flexibility is there. It's not like they can't. That's beautiful. Yes. Let's do this. Len is just showing me that he needs to work on this and this is actually a good exercise keep your back as straight as you can and pull those knees toward your chest pull those knees toward your chest and um, we did an exercise in modern dance in Paris for the back that looks very very tame and it was just and you can put your feet on the floor it was just with a straight back bounce to Three little bounces, but you push from the small of your back, not from the top. Seven and eight. And bounce. Two, three, four. Breathe. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's relax. It looks so small, right? But you feel that you're working these muscles in, your, in the small of your back. Remember, everybody, that our upper body is held together with the lower body only by those vertebrae that are piled on top of each other. And everything else is muscle tissue that's holding us upright. It's really amazing that we can be upright when you think about it, you know? And all these organs, the lungs and the liver and the stomach and the small intestines, all this, the kidneys in the back are just held in their position because of muscle tissues and tendons. And that one spine that is not even a solid spine, it's just little vertebrae sitting on top of each other. And if we don't work on keeping those strong and circulated and oxygenated, <laughs> then yeah, how, are, how is that midsection supposed to hold us upright? And it's amazing that people do stay upright who are not working on it, you know, somehow, but often with great pains and walking sticks and walkers and you name it. Um, so yes, that is why we need to do this. And again, like I, my, one of my later punchlines is, we can't take one deep breath and say, okay, that's enough for the rest of the day, right? I've done my breathing for today. Our body needs constant breathing. And with movement, it's the same thing. Life needs to move or it deteriorates, it dies, basically. If anything is not able to move, 
Every cell in our body constantly pulses and moves and then splits and makes new cells. It's all movement. Life is movement. So when we don't allow our bodies to move, we're basically condemning it to die. It can be a slow death, but yeah, that's what we're doing. So, all right, enough of philosophy about that. We're going to go to our belly crunches. You can either have your feet on the floor or you can have your feet up here or in the air, whatever is comfortable for you, probably on the floor first. And with bending back, hold onto the chair. It's important. And all we do is come up just a little bit, not all the way, just a little bit and go back down and up. And exhale. And excuse me, <laughs> you can burp. That's all good. And up. And up. And seven. And eight. And little crunches. And you'll feel every time you allow your body to go a little bit further. Oops, you feel it. And then you can feel it. Hold on to so that it's comfortable for you. Yes, exactly. If you hold on to a different sprung, that's great. And can you feel the work that we did yesterday on this one? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Good. And last one. Stretch up. Whew. And drop forward. First with the straight back and then high your head. So, if there is pain, then you can also vocalize. You can also say, oh, um, or whatever. You've done, you've done yoga. You don't make noises in yoga. You haven't done karate or something like that, right? No. Where um, the point is, oh, you know, you release all the tightness in your body. You actually have much more power when you do that. I'm not saying you have to do that right now, but try it at home, you know, in your house when no one is listening, when you don't feel like you can't do this. Um, it helps to vocalize and releases the tensions in your body. So one more time. And I'm going to do mine this time. Oh, you I think stay with your feet on the floor unless you want to try this. And crunch. And two. And strengthen all those muscles. Now turn a little bit to your left. Two. Just with your upper body. Three. And you feel it crunching in your left side. And to the right. Two. Three. Okay, I'm going to have this the last one and stretch up. And stretch forward, flat back, chin forward, and relax. And just drop, drop your arms, drop your head, and gather your body by curling up. Now, why I do these a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right, because we also want to strengthen these muscles on the side. And variation allows us to go longer. If we're in the exact same position, we're cramping up or hurting much faster than when we move a little bit when we have fluidity. So um, that's our belly. And if you want to feel that you can do this, do the last one. Just hold your legs. Yes, you can. Look at that. And now stretch your, your legs. Yes. Excellent. Look at that. I can't hold it right No, that's fine. That's enough. And good. That's. I just wanted to show you that the strength is there when you put the balance in place. And then you can do things that you didn't think you can. All right. And we're getting to the upper body arm workout. And I'm going to put the screen a little bit back up.
Hey, everybody, who else joined here? Let me greet you. Michael! Oh, my God, Michael Wiesner. That is so cool. Mwah, mwah. Ciao. Stay with us. This is a client of mine from Germany. Okay. And we are taking weights or take bottles, water bottles work, even books, if you have two big books, you know, it's a little harder to hold them, but it's just anything in your hands that creates a little extra weight because, and this is not that we're being unnatural. This is really that in any other older culture, we would be stirring dough or kneading things or pulling weeds or moving the hole, even sweeping, etc. You know, we would be doing a lot of upper body muscle work. But because of our modern high tech times, we neglect our upper body completely and it doesn't get to do any of this stuff. And therefore we do need to do weight training. It sounds bizarre, but it is, you know, find those kind of jobs in your household that you do that really use your upper body. They're almost gone. You know, we don't even wash dishes. We put them in the dishwasher. <laughs> you know? So we don't move our upper body with, we don't even carry our groceries from, from the farm to our house or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. And we don't carry like some cultures, things on our head mm -hmm. either. And then of course you have to lift it up and put it back down and, and pull up the, the wood from the, the dry wood from the trees. And all these are upper body activities that we don't do. So therefore it's natural for us today that we do weightlifting because sometimes I get this argument, but that's so unnatural. It's not. All right. And keeping our body soft, our knees bent, we swing and pump, swing just as it feels comfortable. And five, keep your knees soft, six, seven, eight. Stretch your arms in between. Stretch the, um, yes, that's it. Um, the left arm doesn't want to stretch when you go down. Try to stretch the left arm. Yes. And again, up and stretch it and up and stretch it. Good. High. And six and seven and eight. And another round. And enjoy the movement. And five and six and seven and eight. And Twist just your wrists a little bit and then keep the palms out, palms to the outside, the other way around. Other, um, yeah, good. Mm -hmm. And now we're going slightly to the side, not all the way, keeping our elbows close to our body. And five, six, seven and eight and one two three four and five six good seven and eight do you feel it in your biceps today a little bit or they're a little bit too light for you like yeah. we discussed yesterday but i don't want to give you you want to try one little round with the five pounders mm -hmm. yeah Good, because you do have more muscle toning than I first thought. So I'm going to take the light ones. So very slowly, both arms together and up. And a little to the side. Keep your elbows close. And, and number four. Now, with your arms a little bit away from the body, you see that it's harder. No, it's not. You can do it. Good. Six, seven, eight. And can you, can you, is, are they okay? The five pounders for you for the, just now? Two for more? A while. Okay, and up. All the way up. Maybe that's too hard. Okay, it'll change back. 
but that was good. I'm glad that you were able to. It didn't look like you were struggling in, no. in these ones, in the little. Well, I realize up is harder for you yeah. because that's where you have to loosen the joints also. And up, and two, stretch all the way when you are up. Your elbows, yes. Four and five. Breathe. Six and seven. Eight elbows together and one. This is one that was hard for you. And two. And elbows, it's more than hands. And think of your elbows being, yes, that's it. And five and six and Seven, the elbows are driving, and eight. And relax for a moment. <sighs> Hips turned in, knees bent. Um, so that you have the feeling that your spine is as straight as possible. You know, when, when you're like this, your mm -hmm. spine is not straight, turn your hips in. Okay, we're going to the back, and that goes um, elbows forward as much as you can. Again, this is hard for you. And arms up, hands up, and then come down straight to the back and up. I know this is hard, but we're going to get better very fast. And three and four, one at a time, five. Good, because then you go lower. Six and stretch in between and eight and relax i can see that your left arm is having a harder time than your right arm so the the point here is that we try to go straight up and straight down and it strengthens these muscles and you can feel them here probably right you feel it in your shoulder mm -hmm. and other side your right side your left side Stretch, stretch straight up like the winner with the fist. <laughs> I always have to think of um, those brave athletes that were the first non white athletes to win. And elbow forward. Good. Don't hit your head. So you have to be away from your head with your hand. Good. And down. Can we do the left one one more on this one? And up straight. And to the back. One. And two. Don't hit your head. <laughs> so a little bit further back your elbow if you can. Higher up. Yeah. <laughs> and let me, let, me, let me guide you for a minute. Okay. Push all the way up. All right. Can you turn this a little bit more? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's in the shoulder. The turn in the shoulder is hard. But it's getting a lot better. And then really stretch in between there. And stretch. Good. So that this flexibility and this flexibility go at the same time, right? So that from here to here to there. And for me, this was very important because... I was beginning to walk like this with my shoulders forward and crunched. Um, and for us tall people, we discussed that yesterday. Hi, new people who joined us. You know, I'll upload this so you can do it from the beginning um, when you get a chance to do the whole program. And um, just one time over cross and bend your knees really far and just a little bit down and back up, and down, and back up, and three, and back up, good, and four, and it's actually amazing that your elbows, so we need to do this over cross thing, elbows go further. Okay, one more new thing that I'm gonna to do today is pulling back your shoulder blades and forward, and it's like, yeah, to the side back, and back. That's what that's that part in the body that I'm talking about. So that the you feel like your shoulder blades are kissing each other in the back there. And up 
and at the same time you're strengthening. And seven and eight. Okay. Woo! Good. We're gonna leave up this one unless you want to do a couple of to the back two. Sorry guys, showing you my butt. Four, five, six, seven. Really stretch your elbows in the back. Yes, that's good, Lynn. Mm -hmm. And eight. Last. We did great. Okay. In the Johanna's workout stuff drawer. And stretching up. Whoa. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to see you, you know, bring those three pounders when you think of it on Thursday so that you can get to the next level. We're stretching, stretching up. And again, one time at a time, over, so that this whole side gets stretched and we're reaching and the other side and we're reaching. Exhale. I can smell my sticky here. I've <laughs> been sweating. Two, three. Natural body odors are a beautiful thing. So whatever you say, I stand for that. We've done so much toxicity with all that stuff we put on us. All right. And we're going to do this stretch where we just hold it to our knee, bend it, keep the other knee straight in the back, yeah, and go down the, the path a little bit as far as feels comfortable, and then back up. <sighs> and for those who have a hard time, it's enough to just go lean on your thigh, and keep the one leg straight and the other one bent and just bounce it a little because it stretches this, it should stretch this thigh here. And center. And for those who can, we bend, we touch the floor and then we stick up our butt a little. So we stretch, sticking up the end of our spine as, no, bend your knees, bend your knees. Yes, bend your knees all as far as, so. yes, that's it, good. And let your head hang, good. And now push up the bottom of your spine. So push that just lightly, bounce it just a little bit. That's it, that's all it takes. And then curl back up. And as we go along, that stretch will naturally come. I always feel strongly about stretching when you are hot and sweaty not when you come in and when you're cold. So when I see these guys getting out of their car and um, you know, running on the walkway or wherever people are running, and they're all cold and they try to stretch and they're like, oh, oh, oh why is this not working? Yeah, it can't because everything loosens up when we get warm and sweaty. And that's when we are, I just did it again the other day. I was doing a lecture and I said, well, you know, I try to stay fit and I can still do my split. And there were a couple of young people and it's always happened when young people are there. I said, show us, show us. <laughs> so I did the split for them. Um, okay, if you tell me to show us, I'll do a split, but right now you wouldn't be able to see me. So I'd have to reposition the camera. All right, we want to finish with being proud of ourselves that we care for our body enough to keep it in good shape, that we don't get arthritis, kidney infections, lung problems, breathing problems, you name it. And of course the monster cancer that is so prevalent in this country. We wanna be, yeah, proud of ourselves and happy that we have the opportunity to prevent this. And therefore we say, I love you, my planet, because you provide everything we humans need. I love you, my sunshine, and the good air, and the good water, and all that it has to offer. And I love you, my body. 
because only when we love ourselves can we love others and do good for others. So, thank you. Namaste, or whichever other thank you you wish to say. All of humanity has these modalities, which I always think is so great. All of humanity says thank you in their own languages, in their own way. Um, in Zimbabwe, the Shona way to say thank you is to go like this. And the men go like this. It's actually distinct. Um, so, you know, they didn't learn that from the Indians or, you know, they've had this culture for a long time and it's a beautiful thing. So thank you, Len, for being here with me. And thank you, everybody out there. I'm going to, if you leave comments, I promise I will respond. And um, Estela, oh, that's so cool to see you here. And Leon Beach, oh my God, I know almost everybody who's on here today. That is amazing. All right, love you all. Mwah. Tell your friends about the Boot Camp for Queens, please. It starts in July. And people who want to work on their weight, on, who want to release overweight and never feel hungry while doing so, never, I promise. I promise you will never ever feel hungry and you feel better every day. That's what I teach next. It's the boot camp for queens. Comment, tell your friends about it. It's on my Johanna Sophia Facebook page right here. Um, and let us get this terrible obesity crisis tackled in our little way wherever we can because it's so sad when we don't allow our bodies to be the beautiful temples to live in that they need to be for us to be effective in this world. Mwah. Ciao. That's it. See you on Thursday at 10 a.m. And now I have an image here and can't click the end live video button. Here it is. Ciao.